Hey guys, it's June and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be talking all about my relaxed hair journey since making the decision to not do the big chop. So I've been here on YouTube for a little bit over three years. When I started my YouTube channel, I knew I wanted to focus on protective styling and my relaxed hair journey. It was one of the main reasons why I started my YouTube. And along the way, the natural hair movement started picking up. And throughout it all, I know I made a couple of videos where I was very seriously considering going natural and I kept on going back and forth forth but I decided to stay relaxed so it's just been kind of interesting watching other people grow their natural hair while I have maintained my relaxed hair. I'm one of the like I hardly know anyone personally who's still relaxed so it's very interesting still being relaxed and just seeing how my hair has progressed over the years that I've decided to stay relaxed. I just wanted to put this out to show you guys how I was able to grow my hair within the past three years and actually be able to show you guys videos and pictures from old YouTube videos so you guys can actually see what my hair has looked like throughout the years. And as I'm showing you guys these pictures and videos, I'll be telling you guys about what exactly I actually did to get to these points, showing you guys the good and the bad of my hair journey and exactly what I did to get my hair to the length that it is right now. So now this is a video from my channel and I'll show you guys the length of my hair and that picture that you see in the top right is the length that my hair had been stuck at for years like I was at the shoulder length plateau for majority of my life I also really struggled with staying at that plateau and it wasn't until 2016 that I was able to pass it and that was on accident by doing weaves like it was literally when I had given up on my hair growth journey that I had started seeing growth. Before that, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos, did a bunch of stuff with hot oil treatments, protein treatments, we would always be trying to do something to grow my hair and then I saw that it wasn't growing so after like two years of trying I was like okay whatever I'm just gonna give up I don't really care anymore I kind of believed what a lot of people comment on my videos as well that it's just genetics I'm just cursed like I'm never gonna be able to grow my hair long so I was like let me just put in a sew-in and just fake that I have long hair when I put in that sew-in after I started doing sew-ins for a year or two, my hair was getting longer and I couldn't understand it until I started doing more research into it and found the beauty of protective styling by accident. It was by leaving my hair alone in protective styles that I was able to get my hair to where it was at the beginning of my hair growth journey on YouTube. So this is the starting point in the middle of 2016 of my hair growth journey on YouTube. So with seeing that growth and with also starting my YouTube, I was like, okay, now I'm going to be serious again about growing my hair. So that summer, I put my hair in all back, big cornrows. I tried the inversion method. I don't know if you guys know about what that is. You can look it up, but I tried the inversion method. I'm not really sure if it worked because my hair was in braids, so there wasn't really a way for me to actually measure my hair growth after that week. I tried biotin, but it broke me out like crazy, so I had to stop. I was also really big on using castor oil on my scalp and on my braids, but I found that it would be a really, really messy and, and then also break me out, and I was having a lot of problems with my skin at that time, so I had to stop. After doing all of that for the summer and going really really crazy not taking my hair out of those braids at all at the end of it I saw tremendous growth and I was like yes my hair is getting longer I actually believe that it's possible for black people to grow hair longer and I think the main thing out of all of those things that I tried was the fact that my hair was in just really big cornrows that I did not have to manipulate and did not cause any breakage for me. You can also try biotin and castor oil and the inversion method, see if those things work for you. But I personally don't really think that those things worked for me. And after that period of trying them, I never tried them again, just because it was a lot of stress and broke my skin out a lot. And I just continued with protective styling. And I do believe protective styling was what led to my growth because after that, I was able to grow my hair with protective styling. And even in this video, if you go back and watch some of my old videos, like this one I actually am talking about going natural something that was very heavily on my mind and if you want to know why you can go back and watch those videos so moving on later into 2016 I noticed that my hair wasn't growing as much and I just got kind of discouraged and in this video I'm talking again about going natural kind of going back to thinking like okay yeah black people just can't really 
grow long hair at least maybe blacks black people can't really grow long hair maybe if i went natural i would be able to grow my hair longer but even after going back and forth i still decided to stay relaxed and see how this relaxed hair journey could continue so now moving on into 2017 i finally gave myself a good trim and straightened my hair for the first time in years i've never been to a salon so i would never just trim my hair which is actually really bad which you'll notice throughout this journey and pictures that i i'm really bad about trimming my hair but anyways i finally trimmed my hair and just made a video about like myself and my relaxed hair journey and why i wanted to bring my relaxed hair journey and my journey with hair in general on youtube and then moving on into later in 2017 at this point i was just doing protective styling back to back to back i mean i was busy with school so i didn't have that much time to devote to trying other things but i was just doing a lot of protective styling and i was seeing that i was working like i was getting happier with the thickness especially of my hair i felt like protective styling if anything changed how thick my hair was getting and this is when i made my video about how i grew my relaxed hair and just basically shared with everyone how protective styling changed my life <laughs> so now moving into the very end of 2017 i had had a very stressful past few months a lot of things were happening that were taking my mind off of my hair so i basically just didn't do anything to my hair except leave it in braids under a u-part wig and i made a link check and basically in this video i'm just explaining how shocked i was to see the that my hair was getting this length and this is when i really really believed like that the best thing you can do for your hair is leave it alone and neglect it but in a healthy way in the sense that my hair wasn't neglected and out to where it would be prone to tangling and matting up like it was safely protected under braids under a wig and i just didn't do anything to it like i literally didn't even oil my scalp or anything like i did nothing to it and i saw so much growth and was just shocked and then so now moving into the end of 2018 an entire year later i basically i just continued to purposely neglect my hair healthfully neglect my hair under protective styles I was really in and i'm still really into like research about hair science so i started doing more research and just understanding how our hair works learned a lot about my hair and hair growth as a whole and just started being more intentional and in this video i was talking about my protective style takedown routine and this was an important video because the thing about hair growth and growing your hair through protective styling is that your hair no matter what you do your hair is growing underneath a protective style but some people will do protective styles and still not see hair growth like whenever they take it down they're not seeing that much hair growth and people will, would ask me and dm me like i'm still doing protective styles why isn't my hair growing and the reason why your hair isn't growing or doesn't seem like it's growing is because when you're taking down your protective styles you're losing all of the length that you just retained during your protective style because of when you're taking it down you kind of just rip through your hair i mean i definitely was guilty of it too whenever i was younger like I don't have hours to spend taking down braids but you honestly just have to if you want to retain the length that you're getting from your protective style it is so so important how you take down your protective style i can't stress that enough i can't stress protective styling one and number two how you take down your hair from protective styles that's what i was explaining here but yes it's very important if you actually want to see growth from your protective styles so now moving on into the beginnings of 2019 i continue to just be extremely careful with my hair doing a lot of protective styling it wasn't really changing my anything from what i was doing from before so this was how my hair was looking like and then later into 2019 as well i continued doing the same thing that i was doing before and i made this video about the growth plateau because i felt something that happens to a lot of people i was stuck at a plateau for so long but then i started realizing that i kind of think my hair is staying at another plateau so i make this video explaining the science the science to me is fascinating like i was so excited to make that video but yeah, just explaining the science behind the growth plateau and my own journey and how my hair had been staying at this length. As you can kind of see from these videos, my hair has been kind of right about waist length for a while. So now this is the rest of videos from my hair growth journey in 2019. As you can see, my hair has kind of been, I mean, it's, 
I don't know, you tell me, is my hair, does my hair look longer? Uh, these are videos from how my hair looked. As you can see, it's been a journey for me as well, and I hope this encourages you if you're on your own journey. The thing that I really want to be a takeaway from this video, if you take out nothing else, I hope it is this one thing about hair growth, which is an understanding of the fact that our hair is growing, and there isn't really much we can do to make our hair grow any faster. That is from our actual scalp speeding up the hair growth. But what we can do is reduce how much our hair is breaking, which leads to more retained length, which leads to longer hair. It wasn't that my hair was growing really fast throughout my three year journey. It was that I was able to retain length and keep it from breaking as much as possible. By putting my hair in those protective styles and making it literally impossible for my hair to break while it was in a safe protective style, during those months that it was in a safe protective style, I was able to retain all of the length that it was growing. Hair on average grows like half an inch a month. So in three years, that's 18 inches. But it's up to you whether or not you actually retain those full 18 inches. So while I wasn't personally able to retain the full 18 inches, I got pretty close. I feel like we at times overcomplicate hair growth. There's no better way to prevent your hair from breaking than not touching it simply by just doing healthy protective styles. And that point ultimately is the reason why I was able to get my hair this long. And I also feel like a lot of the stuff I talk about applies to both relaxed and natural hair. So if you're natural, I don't want this video to be like, you should go relax, like you shouldn't have done the big chop, you should regret having ever done the big chop because you could have grown your hair so long with relaxers. I feel like whether you're relaxed or natural, protective styling and all the things I mentioned in this video apply to you. So don't take this as like, oh, you should go relax. Wherever you are in your hair growth journey, I just wanna encourage you that it is possible. I was one of those people too that just didn't believe that I could do it, that it was just other people who were just blessed, but I really don't believe that's it at all. It's all about knowledge. <laughs> it's really just all about knowledge. And the more you know, the better you can approach your own hair care journey. So that's why I really, really felt the strong need to put out this video and just walk you guys through exactly what I did with pictures and videos so you can actually see it for yourself and believe it that it is possible. I really, really hope that this video was helpful to you guys. If it was helpful, definitely let me know um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video